At this station, we're going to be studying roots. Many plants have a main root that keeps it steady and upright in the ground. Vascular bundles help resist forces that may otherwise pull the plant out of the ground. This main root then divides into secondary roots, which end in fine root hairs. The root hairs absorb water and minerals from the soil, and this is also where growth of the roots takes place. The roots can also store food for future use. We are going to look at root hairs and the cells that make up roots under the microscope to discuss their structure and function. Make sure you draw what we see on your handout and answer the questions either during the video or after it's ended. Okay, here we have a cross section of a root and I just want to point out a few of the different parts to you. So starting out directly in the center, you have your xylem. The xylem is almost pinkish with the dye that has been used here and it almost forms a cross or plus sign shape in each of the four corners created by this plus shape of the xylem we have the phloem and the phloem has taken a blue color with the dye being used here the thick layer surrounding the vascular tissue in the center is called the cortex cortex cells are unspecialized cells lying between the epidermis at the surface and the vascular cells in the center the cortical cells may contain stored carbs or other substances like resins latex essential oils and tannins some of the simple carbohydrates that you may find here may be metabolized into more complex carbohydrates like starch which is then stored in the cortex in edible roots, bulbs, and tubers like potatoes. And then the very last thing I'll point out is the very outermost layer is called the epidermis. Again, that just allows protection of the root cells. This slide showcases the root hairs that are attached to the secondary roots. These hairs absorb water and minerals from the soil. This is also where root growth takes place. In addition, roots may store extra food for future use. Draw what you observed under the microscope on your handout for both slides and label the vascular tissues, epidermis, cortex, and then answer the two questions below.